Hey everyone, it's your boy Just a Freak. And yeah, if you're watching this, probably you ordered manga before. And if you didn't, I don't know what you're waiting for. But anyway, you know how the process works. So you order manga, it gets delivered to your house, you unpack it and enjoy it. Okay, so how this works for me, I ordered manga, I wait for a while for it to pile up so that I can do a manga haul and have something to show you guys. So yeah, at this point, I, I think that when you get into the position where uh, your pile of boxes containing manga are kind of messing with your life because they're in your way, in your house, I guess it's that time of the month when uh, I just have to do a manga haul. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. So first I have this big one over here. That is, I don't know, half the table, maybe half the table. And I also have this big one over here. That's also pretty, pretty huge. But as you can see, even if this is big, it's way smaller than this baby over here. After that, I have another big one and yeah, this is not as thick, but still pretty big. Another huge one over here, not as big as the biggest box that I received with uh, manga so far. But yeah, table is almost full by now. Then guess what? I have another one. Let's see. Can I fit more? Okay, one more. So <laughs> let's see. I, I, I don't even know where to put this. So I know. let's do it like this. Okay. Want more? Of course. I got more. Even more, of course. Still got more. Still, still, still. And I'm not stopping. So I got more and more. And I don't know, at this point, it's a mountain of manga over here. I still got some things unboxed because with customs nowadays since the Brexit, I have to, some of the packages are opened by them in front of me. And I still got a surprise uh, pickup at the end of the video. Hopefully I won't forget about it. But yeah, at this point you're gonna see a mountain of manga. It's my mountain of madness <laughs> in the thumbnail. So hopefully this is going to be fun. I can't wait to dive into all of this. I've been waiting for a while. And yeah, let's get it. So first let's take a look at some of the manga that I already have unboxed. And actually I bought this one from a store, from a physical store. I went there by mistake in a local library and I saw that uh, they had a deal, buy two and get one free. And I saw this one. So because of this one, I bought two other volumes, but this is Haru's Curse. And it got my attention by the cover. I saw two people there. So I was thinking it must be some kind of uh, romance and they seem pretty sad so it must be a drama so yeah it was it was pretty great i enjoyed this a lot this is a two-in-one and it's about uh, those two people on the cover that um, i don't know are in kind of a three-way relationship because he was the fiance of her sister and her sister is dead and now they kind of have to deal with each other and they have to work through the pain of losing someone dear to them and also through their own sentiments and stuff like that. It was pretty, pretty nice. It's just the volumes, a short read. And if you want to try it, pick it up. It's, it's good. Next, let me show you those two volumes that I picked up to get Haru's Curse. And this is something that I wanted to pick up for a long, long time now. But I know that its uh, its release schedule is pretty, I don't know, pretty scarce. And uh, I know that these volumes are not uh, getting printed that often. But anyway, this is Watakoi Love is Hard for uh, Otaku. 
<laughs> or how Yusuf said it, uh, what a coil love is hard for a taco. But um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I read part of it and I want to continue and read more. And I just tested it because to see if this series sits well with me and my intuition and the fact that some of my friends are, uh, are reading it made me buy it and yeah i can say that from what i read i enjoy it and i think that those are um one and a half volumes or something like that they seem bigger next is one of those um, boxes that i had to open in front of the customs officer because i know they were suspecting me that i'm trafficking God knows what, illegal stuff, drugs or stuff like that, but they had no idea that I was actually bringing into the country some anime titties. So I got Berserk and this is the deluxe edition. This is volume six, slowly but surely. Uh, we're getting more and more Berserk out. These are each one are three in ones and the quality of these volumes is amazing. Uh, if you saw my collection video, you know that. I already own all of the volumes from Berserk in the singles. I don't plan to sell them or anything like that, but um, Berserk is one of my favorite series since before I started to collect manga and uh, yeah, I'm double dipping for this. Uh, they also print out Helsing in a similar volume, um, deluxe edition like this, and they're also printing Blade of the Immortal. Those, those are also some really, really great series, so try to pick them up if, if you are interested in them. I know, go read a preview somewhere on Amazon or God knows where, see if you like it and pick them up because it's Dark Horse and they're not keeping stuff in print for too long. If you ever bought something from Dark Horse, you know how it works. Next, let's take a look at one of those big boxes because I know, I have a bunch of them, so I think I can start with uh, one of those at the beginning of the video. And for that I'm gonna use my uh, trusty knife tool and my amazing knife cutting techniques that happily I wasn't able to hurt myself until now, so let's see what do we have here. And from what I remember, this should be from a local um, store from inside the country called uh, Manga Shop. I've been buying stuff from them recently because uh, stuff has been um, pretty expensive on book depository, so the stuff from my country became uh, reliable. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And from the looks of it, as a part of this order, got a ton of Tenshu Tengen. And that's pretty cool, pretty, pretty, pretty cool, because um, last time, in my last two holds, I think, uh, I bought the first three omnibuses from uh, this series. And um, yeah, after that, I tried to track down volume 4 because that was going out of stock and after I know having trouble with finding that one I hope I showed you guys that volume in uh, in my previous haul uh, since it was from Amazon and it was uh, bought to me by my brother but anyway I had some trouble getting a hold of a volume after the series was for a year or so some of the volumes were out of stock, out of print. Honestly, I had no idea if uh, they're gonna bring it back. So I decided to, to fetch the rest as fast as I can before I have any other surprises. So I went to the shop and I ordered everything that I was missing. So this should be up to volume 11. And I think that each one of these are two in ones. So, or actually, yeah, there are two in ones. And yeah, this is also two in one. So now I have the complete series. It's 22 volumes. 
This one is drawn by Ograit. So as you can see, the art is pretty great. See the fun in there. Anyway, uh, don't expect this to be at the same level in terms of art with uh, One uh, Punch Man. Not One Punch Man with uh, Baki Monogatari because since then uh, this mangaka had time to work on stuff, had time to practice and everything became um, greater. S but still, the art is pretty pretty nice. My only issue sometimes is with the faces. They kind of look, I don't know, weird, but still loving it. Still loving it. So far I read a couple of volumes and I enjoyed it a lot. I know that I saw this anime a couple of years ago and one of the reasons for picking this up was because I wanted to refresh my memory with everything that happened in this story and yeah since i already saw the anime the next best thing actually is the best thing was to read the manga so yeah i got from volume 5 to volume 11 so that kind of makes it from volume 8 no no from volume 9 10 to volume 22 from tenjo tenge and now i have it complete Next, I have a package from a store called Better World Books or something like that. Uh, I ordered from them before. Usually it takes a ton of time for packages to get there, but they have used books and uh, I don't know, the shipment is free. So every time when I order, I don't actually know if a package is going to get me in um, and anytime soon but yeah i i don't mind it. it it's not that expensive actually it was so long since i ordered this uh, books that i don't even know if the store is still up yet i heard some rumors that uh, that the store went down in this pandemic but um, and god damn it i had so much trouble opening this but anyway, let's see what do I have here. So these are some older Tokipop releases. And these are three books by Erika Sakurazawa. I saw these books before in Bizarre Individuals collection and also on Ala Manga's channel. And it's something that I wanted to read for a while. The art looks pretty, pretty great. And let's say the stories are pretty self-contained. So hopefully. I'm gonna have fun with them because I was tracking some of them uh, down for a while and I finally managed to get three of them because all of them are out of out of print and yeah I can't can't wait to dive into them and see what's all the fuss because a lot of people were telling me nice things about it so if you want to read the plot on any of them you can pause the video shortly and I, I don't know, let me know if you if you read any of this and uh, if you enjoyed them and uh, which one I should read first from these three volumes. Now back to a package from Book Story. Let's see. And this is Gantz Omnibus Volume 5. And finally, so I know if you guys remember, uh, I have only until volume 4 and I had 5 on pre-order. Now 5 came out a long long time ago, I think last year. Last year during, I don't know, autumn or something like that. And yeah, it took so long for them to actually get this volume to me because it was lost in the mail or god knows what. and. Uh, after that, I asked for a refund, they refunded me, I ordered it again, and now I finally have it. And I say it like that because Gansy is one of the first series that I read, and it's a series that I enjoy a lot. I read anything that's in print by Hiroya Oku, because I like his stuff, I like his crazy. And I know that these three ones are not the best options to have when it comes to Gantz, but I'm not paying one or three thousand dollars for 
the whole series that's what people are uh, are asking for the singles so yeah i wanted to have this i actually at a moment this went out of uh, stock because it's dark horse so i had some problems getting it and i was already seeing my collection missing one of the omnibuses and that means three volumes so yeah i'm happy to finally have it let's see another one from book depository and of course the package is disappointing me with the opening but let's see let's see what do i have here and this is to love rue and it's volume 17 uh, with this it means that i have the whole to love rue collection uh, completed so i have the whole run for to love rue uh, in omnibuses and the whole run for to love rue darkness in uh, in these singles i think the first one is 20 volumes or still 18 and yeah the the, the second part is um, actually i'm not gonna open this because it's volume 17 and most probably i'll give up spoilers but yeah if you want to see some art from this series check out my other videos it's probably if if you're looking at the last couple of months probably you're gonna find some to love root there and next what about seeing another big boy so this one is ordered from romania of course they order from uk but at least i don't have to deal with customs as i said it's horrible to order manga recently because you have to pay more because you have to pay customs a lot of times and yeah it's sometimes you even have to talk with people and i don't know i don't want to talk with people that i don't want to talk with so let's see what do i have here and the first volume should be sneeze by Naoki Urasawa and this is a short story collection by Naoki Urasawa I guess that uh, now everybody knows who Naoki Urasawa is he's a national treasure in Japan when it comes to manga and this is a short story collection from him I never read a short story collection from Urasawa and I can't wait to try this one to see how it is and um, this character over here actually looks uh, similar to a character from uh, Pluto, from uh, Naoki Urasawa. And I noticed that he has this uh, issue. I don't know if I should call it an issue. Honestly, I wished that it didn't happen. But uh, I don't know if you noticed with Mangaka, if you read more more series from them, uh, some character faces are going to keep repeating themselves anyway glad that i have it this one is from viz it has french flaps the quality is there along with everything that we get from them from no kurosawa glad to to put this into my collection alongside the other volumes from him the next one is how do we relationship uh, let's see let's see yeah they also have volume one so another yuri if you guys uh, have been watching my channel, you know that in the last couple of months or since last year, I'm buying a ton of Yuri. I'm buying a ton of Yuri because uh, I noticed that I enjoy that genre. I like to read the uh, romance between uh, girls. It, it feels, in my opinion, quite better than... Uh, then what I'm used to, the drama is there and all of that stuff. And I can't wait to try this one. Can't wait to try this one. Uh, let me know if you read it. I haven't read it. I It, it was on my radar because um, some people were talking about it over on Discord. So that's why I picked it up. But if you read it, let me know. I think it did, this was also recommended to me at some point. And the last two volumes from this box are uh, Urusei Atsura and this is Omnibus 4 and Omnibus 5 and I think that these are two in ones from uh, Viz um, these are basically Viz signatures but um, the quality is not of a signature volume uh, I know the paper is not uh, that great as Viz signature and uh, the covers are thinner 
but still it's it's a good um, it's it's a good release it's a good release i can't complain because uh, i know that this will hold up because i've read the part of the first one to see how it is and these are two in ones and are way better than what they do with three in ones so yeah pretty pretty great urusei yatsura is um, a series an older series has as you may have seen from the art it's uh, it has also a huge anime and uh, it's one of those nostalgic series let me know if you read it and uh, what do you think about it now let's see another volume from uh, box volume from book depository and uh, let's see what do i have in this one damn this volume is heavy damn this is heavy and yeah this is solo leveling so this is actually something that was released as a web comic it's a manhwa you can also read this on uh, web comics or how how is that um, that app that you can find on your phone and this is the first one that i have like this i guess kuro may be similar but uh, yeah, Kuro, Kuro actually may be another webcomic that I have. I don't know if it's available on that app or not, but anyway, Soul Leveling Volume 1. Heard only good things about this. And I'm wondering how this will um, be read, because usually webcomics are made so that you scroll down. But yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool. And another thing about... Um, web comics is that they are in color and then this volume is pretty pretty heavy because i don't know the page quality in this one is uh, is there i hope that for this uh, for this weight i actually would have loved to have on hard to have hard covers because those would held up better than uh, the binding the bindings from a single volume but still can't wait to try this one can't wait to try this one i heard only good things about it and i knew that they were gonna release this for a year now and i had it in my list as a pre-order and um, finally got it next another package from book depository another one that's pretty pretty heavy and we have a hardcover in this one and it's the rose of versailles volume 4 as you may know i am collecting this series uh, this one is one of those older shoujos uh, that got a reprint for nostalgics and all of that and then these volumes are pretty pretty nice in quality at some point because of the pandemic i was actually fearing that they would stop releasing this because uh, this is not from uh, your usual publisher, this is from Udon. I don't actually have too many volumes from them, so I bet they, that they are a smaller um, publisher, or maybe not one that's focusing on, uh, on manga. But as you can see, this also has color pages in it. The page quality is uh, the glossy photographic type that you may see in... Uh, I don't know stuff like mobile suit gundam actually this volume in general it reminds me a lot of that release so if you're into older shoujo and you want to read um, a story like this pick this beauty up because i don't know it's it's there and i heard only good things about the story next one let's see let's see. see see that's that's how you do it and let's see what do I have in here. And damn, this is something that <laughs> I thought that it was completely out of print. So this is Barefoot Gen. This is one, um, I know, I think, is this Gegika? It, it should be Gegika. I think it's Gegika. But this is one of those older series that are really, really renowned. And this is something that I, I know, I, I just wanted to read only for my, to, to boost my manga culture. 
it's it's one of the old ones it's one of the influential series uh, from the manga history uh, and yeah can't can't wait to try it at some point these volumes were out of stock i actually thought that they were out of print and we got a reprint and i'm, I'm pretty happy to to, to see that and uh, hopefully in the near future i'll be able to get more these are all in hard covers the spines everything it's going to look just perfect on the shelf and yeah it's it's a chance to to get into some of the early works from this medium now let's get into this big and heavy one right here not uh, Actually, I need another box to, <laughs> to put the smaller packages when I open them in it, so it's, it's a perfect chance to, to open a new of those big, um, big boxes. That, this should be paper. Let's see, let's see. I, I have to sharpen the knife comb because so many boxes and packages I have opened with with him in the last uh, year or two that it's becoming harder and harder to, to, to deal with unboxing for him, poor, poor little knife cream. So let's see, we have a ton of bubbles, ton of bubble paper, oh my god, oh my god, holy shit. Let, let, let me get this aside. Holy cow. Just look at this beast over here. I know, for comparison, let me, let me get something. So for comparison, this is a normal Viz volume. Not a signature one, a normal Viz volume. Look, look, the difference in, look at the difference in size. And one of the biggest volumes that we have in manga it's the Berserk Deluxe and look at the difference in size I know, look how how huge this beast over here is and I was expecting it to be big but damn this, this is crazy so this is goddamn crazy it's heavy as fuck and you definitely need a table to read something like this but this is one of my favorite series from comic books it's uh, Frank Miller's Sin City and this is the big damn Sin City edition and holy shit it's a big damn Sin City edition and this is put out by Dark Horse and it just looks amazing I don't know, this, this could be used as a weapon, you, you don't need a gun in your house. If you have this uh, on your night table and a burglar gets in, you can just throw this at him and you're done, you're done. He's gonna get some serious damage. But let's uh, un unwrap this. God damn it, I'm stuttering, I'm so excited. So this is one of my favorite series and the sad thing about it was that for a couple of years now, this series was out of print at least out of print in um, in an edition that had all of the volumes in it so as you can expect i don't want to collect uh, two hard covers and 10 paper bags or something like that to complete something and since it was that well known and we have movies made after it and all of the crazy stuff and it's frank miller i knew for sure that um, this is gonna get a reprint in one edition or another. I was expecting for some absolute editions or something like that. But anyway, I saw this in a haul on Discord and on Twitter from a friend and I actually recommended this series to that friend. And when I saw it, I was blown away and I just went into Book Depository and I ordered it. And damn it, it's... I'm not strong enough to, <laughs> to handle this series, but let's take a look at the art. And this, this volume for sure is gonna need some, uh, 
some stretching to to the binding because otherwise it's it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy so yeah here we have all of the stories from sin city i'm gonna jump just just jump into it and and read it because this series is so damn good so damn good and so so incredible and as you can see the art is uh, just black and white and frank biller plays with the contrast in this series so so well it's i'm i'm loving it i'm loving it and from the looks of it the quality for uh, for it is really 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 good and if you stretch the binding well i think that everything should be should be good damn big damn sim city damn this this is a really really nice volume to to have in your collection if you're into into comics and all even if you're not into comics even if you're not into the uh, comics go see the movies go read this series because it's it's amazing it's amazing and damn i'm <laughs> i'm sweating i'm shaking all of that stuff this is this is great now let's take a still a big package from book depository that has some tape on it and see what do we have here and from the looks of it it's berserk and let's see this is volume seven and it's a little bit open here so hopefully no no damage doesn't look like it so yeah this is volume seven i don't even know if i should open this one because as you saw i haven't open the last one because this could contain some spoilers but uh, let me just quickly look for um, for something that's not so spoilery to show you some art but you should know about berserk right now let's be serious go read berserk if you haven't done it already so here it is a lot of gore a lot of demons a lot of hack and slashing that's berserk you're gonna see pain suffering blood guts and all of that stuff Berserk Volume 7 from the Deluxe Edition. So, so glad that I get this into my collection. And let's take a look at another package from Book Depository. And see what do we have in here. And this one, god damn it. This is gonna be the first one that I read out of, for sure. So this is Blood on the Tracks by Shuzo Oshimi and I love everything by this mangaka, it's one of my favorite uh, mangakas and uh, so far I really really enjoyed this series it's so fucked up and if you know me I'm into fucked up series so this is one of those uh, thriller psychological dramas and um, actually I'm not gonna open this because I don't want to get spoiled myself I mean, I, I could easily get spoiled from uh, from this one. So if you want to see some art, uh, check out my reads that have it. Check out my other hauls that have it. I'm, I, I can't wait to, to dive into this one. I'm going to read this one today, for sure. Now another uh, pretty big package from um, Okean, from the Romanian retailer. And yeah, maybe you, you noticed it from the packaging. And in here we have a ton of ton of uh, new volumes. So let's see. Let's take a look. First, uh, I have Arakawa under the bridge. And this is the last volume. This is volume 8. So this should be volume 15 actually. And yeah, with this I have the whole series completed. Uh, this is a comedy drama series, uh, pretty nice from what I've read, it sounded pretty funny, it's with a guy that was raised up uh, in a family that's pretty pretty rich and he was raised up with the, I don't know, the law that you never should own anyone, anything, but one day he gets saved up by a girl who lives under a bridge and he ends up owning her, so that kind of... Uh, messed up his life 
not in a bad way i'm not saying in a bad way but anyway pretty funny cool series uh, let me know if you read it and next i have two more volumes from tropical fish yearns for snow and this is a yuri series that i enjoyed so far a lot i read the first four volumes and i also have a short impression video on my channel so if you want to check it out um, i'll leave a link in the corner anyway it's it's a pretty good series it involves uh, mainly two girls um, this one over here and this one and as you can see there's also a third girl in uh, in this um, on, on these two covers uh, i don't know so far it's one of those yuris that uh, are not uh, having any you know physical romance in them it's just more about friendship and that stuff so it's not so focused on uh, i know i want to be with you i want to kiss you and all of that stuff so if that's something that puts you off uh, don't dive into it but it's great it's so cute and i still say that this is a yuri it's not uh, it, it doesn't have to get sexual in any way uh, to be considered yuri in my book so yeah Pretty, pretty nice series. Can't wait to dive into this too. Probably gonna do it after, uh, I don't know, Blood on the Tracks. Maybe some Sin City. I'm gonna read some Sin City. Next, I have another volume from If I Could Reach You. And this is volume four. And I think that this is one of those volumes that, uh, I don't know, I ordered the last year and Book Depository failed to deliver. Uh, that package, not saying it's their fault, probably the postal service. Anyway, I asked for a refund and I ordered this from another store since it wasn't in stock on Book Depository. Um, this is another Yuri series. It's kind of a forbidden love story because this girl over here is in love with this girl over here. And the older girl is actually the wife of... Uh, her brother so that makes it a little bit spicy i know i think that this one has only six or eight volumes or something like that so it's not a sh huge uh, series i read two volumes i think from this one and i liked what re i read so i decided to continue with the rest of it and next i have a ton of volumes from to your eternity and yeah, it's uh, it's one of those series that I know that I like. This is by the same mangaka that did the uh, Silent Voice, and it's one of the series uh, from which I read um, the first two volumes, and I enjoyed those a lot. But I kept on uh, avoiding it, and I didn't, uh, and I wasn't ordering it because. Um, I don't know, it's pretty expensive, it's pretty expensive. This one is by Kotansha and the price never seemed to be right with me uh, in my area. So after two years or so, I think I've read this two or three years ago, the first two volumes. I bought some of the later volumes because those uh, I can pre-order, so at least I get 10% uh, off, but after a while i noticed that stuff is going out of stock maybe even going out of print i'm not saying that it's gonna go out of print but yeah i decided to get it i decided to get it because i don't want to end up in uh, in the situations where one series that i like that i know that i like and enjoy it's it's not available anymore and even if it was a bit pricier i managed to get a let's say a decent deal on these bundles and I got it so just a little bit of the plot uh, from what I remember it's about a being a being a thing I don't even know what it is that uh, I know suddenly reaches earth and uh, it starts to mimic um, things on earth so it starts from mimicking, uh, I don't know, plants, rocks, all of that stuff, 
after that it gets into to mimic animals then it mimics humans and uh, from there it starts to get more interesting and uh, it starts to become a drama so yeah what what i read was pretty pretty great let me know if you read uh, to your eternity if you're picking this up uh, if you know how long it will be because i think that right now we have 14 or 15 volumes out maybe even 16 and yeah let me know if you if you like it this has some uh, really really nice looking covers and i'm finally i finally have it i think that right now with pre-orders and everything that i have in mail i should be up to date maybe just missing one of the later volumes so so glad to finally be in that place after years of avoiding to buy it next let's see let's see honestly i don't know how long this video will be i have a ton of stuff so just just bear with me it's it's good stuff so let's see blood on the trucks <laughs> blood on the tracks volume 5 uh I talked about this before, there's no use into talking with it about it more. Uh, it's about a really messed up family. Actually, a really messed up mother who's overly protective and uh, psychotic and all of that stuff. Volume 5. Volume 6 should be out or should be getting out anytime soon. So I think that I have that ordered somewhere. Can't wait. Can't wait to read anything that comes out from Suzo Oshimi. And I think Shino can speak or something like that is coming out right now. I, I saw something on Twitter. I know that I have it also in my wish list. Anyway, blood on the tracks. Next, another one from the repository. And uh, let's see, let's see. What do I have here? What do I have here? And it looks like it's... Um, the first volume from Barefoot Gen. So, yeah, I talked about this before. I ordered volume 1 and 2. I think there are 8 in total, and each one of these should be a 2 in 1, I think, or at least 1.5 volumes. And yeah, can't uh, can't wait to try this one. Probably it's going to be after Blood on the Tracks, a little bit of Sin City. Um, let's see. Tropical Fish and maybe after that volume 1 of this one. And now another package and as I said before uh, the police is checking packages from time to time lately so this was opened sadly I haven't even seen it being opened that's weird but anyway let's see and this is another volume from inside Mari and this is volume 7 I had this pre-ordered for since a year, a year and a half ago, and it's finally out. Damn, Dempa took its time to to get this out, but I'm so glad that they did because um, I really, really love this uh, this series, and uh, it's it's about let's say it, it's about a guy who's kind of stalking a girl. He is one of those around 20 years old otakus that uh, is a shot-in and everything like that. He has this uh, habit of going each night at a specific hour to a store and each night at a specific hour uh, he manages to, to see this girl and one night he decides to follow her. They made eye contact and I think after that he ran or something like that. And next day he kind of uh, finds himself in her body. So yeah, that's pretty pretty messed up and interesting. Anyway, love this series. I read it on Crunchyroll since it's available there. But I was hoping to get, uh, that it will get a physical release. It did. I'm gonna collect it all and reread it because it's Fuzo Shimi and I love I love his works. Down to the last two packages. So I still have this one and that huge box over there. And after that, I have um, that package that I was mentioning earlier. Uh, that was kind of a surprise pickup. So bear with me, it's almost almost over, almost over. Just hope that I'm 
able to to get this uh, opened. So when I get a box in a box, usually it means that I'm getting an absolute edition. And this one is the final missing piece from my Sandman collection. Now I have everything Sandman related in absolute edition. This is Sandman Overture. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, to finally uh, get everything uh, everything in my collection uh, because always when you're starting to collect something like this it's pretty expensive and you always uh, run into in, into that thought that maybe it will get out of print before you're able to spend money on it and get it all and Sandman is another one of my favorite comic book series and it's something that I recommend a lot and I wanted to have it in a beautiful edition and damn, just look how beautiful it looks it's it's great it's not as thick as the other volumes that uh, we have for Sandman but absolute editions are the best editions in terms of quality that you could get I mean this feels like leather it's it has one of the best bindings and all of that stuff and let's take a look at some pages from the art damn I'm, I'm i'm so happy finally everything everything related to sandman is in my collection and i have uh, this series by neil gaiman uh, actually completed so yeah as you can see beautiful messed up art a story that's pretty pretty crazy i can tell you about uh, some divinities that uh, have all of their names starting with the letter d so dream uh, the main character you also have that despair and all of that stuff so yeah if you haven't tried sandman before try try a volume try the first volume buy the paperback Buy the paper but you don't go to you don't have to go with absolute editions maybe you won't like it but i i think that you will and now down to the last box and this is huge huge half my table it's from book depository and i kind of know what it is because i had to pay uh, customs for it sadly <laughs> and it wasn't cheap but it's so damn huge and heavy and I know this this will be a really really nice piece that I'll be adding to my collection and it's something that I wanted to read because it's related to a series that I like it and it is a bit controversial in, um, in the manga community because um, I, I I know that some people love it, a lot of people love it, but some really hate it, and they consider it trash. And I don't don't agree with that. But yeah, it's it's a ton of bubble paper, uh, a, a ton of wrapping bubbles, and probably inside of it it's gonna be a normal viz volume. So yeah. all all of that packaging or something like that. But let's see. And, and this is a lot this is quite a lot and I wasn't actually expecting this but I'm happy it's uh, it's another box in a box so maybe it's like one of those Russian dolls uh, where you you, 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 you get uh, one box in another box in another box a ton of bubble paper uh, bubble wrapping and uh, after you're done with it it's probably gonna be a small small problem so maybe maybe it was just a joke from someone and i had to pay the full price for it but let's see let's see let's see let's see 
hopefully this is uh, this got to me without any damage on it as you can see it was packed pretty pretty great and uh, the weird thing is that um, I ordered this I know around Christmas or something like that also to test if we had to pay customs and it was missing, it was missing, it was missing. Book Depository had no idea what happened with it. Uh, I had no idea what happened with it. And one day I received an email from a delivery firm telling me that uh, it's with them for uh, 86 days or something like that. And that they need some information from me in order to to get... Um, to get... Uh, the customs then. So, damn it! Look, look how well this is packed. So it should be in mint condition. And maybe you saw on the cover of the box, but this is Sword Art Online. Oh, God damn it! This is so heavy. This is so heavy. So this is the Platinum Collector's Edition from Sword Art Online. Uh, this is by Unpress and damn, this, this looks in, at least so far, it looks in perfect condition. And uh, probably uh, they went with all of this packaging and I'm glad that they did because this is not cheap at all. It's around... Uh, I know 150 euros, maybe more in this area. And I think that they went with so much uh, wrapping because last time um, with the Pandora box, I think that was from them. A lot of people got their product damaged and that was another premium collector's edition. So it's sad when you pay premium, but you end up with damaged goods. Anyway. Sword Art Online Platinum Collector's Edition. Just, I know, I'll give you a couple of seconds. Just look at this beauty and enjoy. And after that, I know, I'll probably make another video where I unbox this, uh, this baby over here. I just want to tell you that it's heavy as f I think it has 20 volumes in it and everything is, um, is in two beautiful books and I can't wait to dive into this one I wanted to read Sword Art Online for a while now I saw the anime and all and I liked it I'm one of those uh, those people that, li that like uh, Sword Art Online so yeah let me know what you think let, you, let me know if you bought this and uh, or if you're considering getting this in my opinion, this will be similar with uh, the Spice and Wolf release that we had. Uh, when it came out, it was around this price, something similar, maybe a bit less. And now it's around $1,000 or something like that, if you want to get it. But yeah, this is um, the, light no the light novels for Sword Art Online, I think around 20 volumes composing two high quality big volumes and uh, yeah so happy to to have them and now back to my surprise pickup uh, it's something that got cancelled a ton of times at the moment i didn't knew if this will still be coming out i had no idea even they had uh, their own worries about it after that it was um, i don't know postponed over and over again and this is Evangelion, the vinyl, finally, called finally the, this album. And it has two vinyls in it, and it has songs from both the series and the movies. And in my opinion, it has some of the best in it. And I'm a big Evangelion fan, so I just had to, I just, I just had to get this. So let me show you how beautiful the vinyls are. Just look at this, just look at this. It's just, just beautiful, just beautiful. And I'm gonna be able to, to listen to, to these songs on, uh, on my turntable 
whenever I, I like it. And in my opinion, if you're an Evangelion fan, it's it's a must have in your collection. It's a must have in your collection. Evangelion has a beautiful soundtrack and it's a beautiful series overall. Anyway, let me know if you're thinking on picking this up. I honestly don't even know if uh, they're still available. I know that it was uh, a limited run, at least that's how it started. And it actually wasn't too expensive. So yeah, if, if it's still out there and if you're an Evangelion fan and if you can listen to it, uh, pick it up. Also, as I mentioned, keep in mind that this is also available on CD and it's cheaper on CD. So if you want to own the soundtrack for the series like that, you can also go with that version. But anyway, one of the most beautiful releases that I have in uh, in my collection. Just take a look how, how, how nice it is. So this is it. I think I got over uh, 100 volumes. Uh, if you're counting uh, singles and what's inside of bosses, uh, it's definitely over 100 volumes in here. Can't wait to read them all. I think I added a ton, a ton of uh, valuable series into my collection. Also some new stuff that I'm going to try and see if I like them or not. So yes, let me know what you thought about this haul. Let me know if you picked any one of these series, if you read any one of them, if you have any other recommendation that I should keep in mind in my future orders. And uh, if you liked it overall, please consider leaving a like. It's helping me a ton with the channel and to get everything out there. And it also gives me feedback. So. That way I know uh, what people enjoy or not. Also, if you're new and this is the first time when you stumbled upon this channel by seeing this haul, um, if you manage to stay until now, probably you're enjoying this type of content and I have a, lo a lot of it on the channel. So please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting up that notification bell down below to get notified whenever I get another video out. I'm an otaku that does YouTube content around uh, manga, anime, figures, uh, I know, comics, all of all of this stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll uh, see you in my next video and we're, we, we're gonna have fun together. So yeah, don't forget to let me know what you think about all of this. Again, thanks a lot for uh, watching this video. And until my next video, go read your manga. Bye-bye.